Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Alexis, and today I had a review for y'all. I recently went to Ulta and I bought the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection, and I am going to go over everything. This is more like a first impressions, because you know you can't review something the first time you use it. So let's jump into it. So, I'm going to put my little headband on. And I honestly got almost one of everything. I got a couple things. Here we go. Okay, this is good. And the only thing that I didn't buy at the collection is the bronzer, the highlight and bronzer. I didn't, I don't really like bronzers like that, so I have one just like that by Morphe. But today, the only bronzer, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use a different bronzer. But anyway, we're going to prime our face. They didn't have a primer, so I'm going to use this hangover primer. I'm going to use this today because there was no primer in the collection. And I like this primer. It's a moisturizing primer more than like a silicone base. Okay, so next I'm going to do the foundation. And I got the color Honey. And all this stuff right here, y'all, is a first impression. I haven't used any of this stuff yet. Smells really good. <laughs> I think this might be an exact match to me, so let's see. I'm going to have my um, mirror down here too, so I need a little something to look at. So I'm looking like down here. If you see me like look over here, I'm looking into a mirror. So let's see. got my little beauty blender. Looks really dirty. I'm going to do one pump because it says this is a full coverage fresh glow foundation. So... It's a dewy foundation. I'm not a big fan of the dewy. It smells really good. It smells really good though. Hey, right, let's see if y'all can see a difference when I had no makeup on. And I have a new ring light, so I'm still getting used to this. There we go. You can see better. Okay, so I'm going to use the It's Bananas setting powder, brightening powder. Uh -oh. Packaging's so cute. That's one thing Too Faced does right is the packaging. I love that we have a cutesy packaging. It really catches my eye. I know I shouldn't be like that, but it does. This is what this looks like. See if this smells good. It smells like uh, runts, like the candy runts, the banana ones. It smells good. It's like not overpowering. Okay, so I'm going to put this all over my face, I'm guessing. It's so pretty, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> set that face, girl, set that face. Okay, let me look at the face. The face. It looks the same, but it looks nice. <laughs> I can't really see a difference. Um, but yeah, like it's setting my face. I guess like the dewiness. Like if you like like a matte look too. You can buy this to make it a matte finish instead of a dewy finish. So you don't have to buy this, but it is nice. It's pretty. So I do like it. I will use it. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the cover, color on um, cappuccino. Summer I get so dark y'all, which I love. I tan very easily. So this I'm sad because I love this bronzer. And then this, in the winter I'm gonna be too pale. But it's okay. I love it. I probably still wear it. TBH. And I'll let y'all know if this foundation uh, makes me break out in hives from the scent because the scent is like really strong which I don't mind but my skin if you have sensitive skin it's not worth to break out just to use the foundation I'm bronzed to the gods I'm gonna prime my eyes with this Urban Decay primer potion and I already picked that I'm doing the raspberry palette because I love pink very much. The pineapple palette looks really cute too. I have the pineapple palette. 
So if you want to see a review on the pineapple palette, let me know and I'll do that too for y'all. The raspberry palette. So pretty. Looks like this. And it smells good, of course. Yep, smells just like raspberries. Looks like this. Oh my god, this is beautiful, y'all. Love it. I'm definitely using this pinky shade. I love that. Okay, I'm about to go in with this look, honey. Y'all, do y'all watch Rich Lux? I don't know if y'all can tell, but I say like a bunch of his words and catchphrases like on accident. Like I don't do it on purpose. That's how much I watch him. And I just say, I end up saying all his words. His little catchphrases. I love him so much. Thumbs up if you watch Rich Lux. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. Mm, I'm going to go in. I'm just going to set it down with this tannish color. Where did I get? Mm, this one right here. Bad to the berry. I'm going to use that color. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm going to put that color all over my lid. I'm gonna use this Firma 201. I got it in the boxy charm probably. I'm gonna do this bright purple color right here on, on the crease. I don't know how pigmented this is. I'm scared. Okay, she's not pigmented that much, so. Okay, it looks really pretty. Since it's not that pigmented, I can build it up. And that's way better. Oh my god, I love this color. It's so pretty. On the eye, it blends out so well, y'all. I'm like in shock. Because usually these darker colors are so hard. Okay, so I have two purple eyes. I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna use this sparkly, so I've been dying to touch. This sparkly pink color right here. So pretty. I'm gonna put it on with my lid. I mean, with my finger. <laughs> I'm gonna put that all on the lid. Y'all, that is stunning. I love. Love, love, love that color. Stunning. And I'm going to finish it with um, the really white color to highlight the top, the brown bone. Okay, so my thoughts, my first impressions on that palette, I think it was really pretty. I love that. And it, it, everything worked so smoothly and it blended out well. It wasn't hard. Like, if you're a beginner like me, like, it's not hard to... Blend all the eyeshadows out. It was really easy. And I'm going to do my eyebrows. Here, they're looking atrocious. I'm going to use the Gimme Brow by Benefit. It's in the shade. I don't know, the darkest shade. Okay, that is what it look, they look better. They look better. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to use... One of these sparkly eyeshadows, and I think I'm gonna use the Guava Glitz because it is so freaking pretty. It's clear eyeshadow, not clear, it's white, like sparkly, silver sparkly, and it has purple reflexes in it. It looks like this. This is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I think I'm gonna use it. I'm scared. I'm just gonna tap it. Oh, I love it. And y'all can see a difference. Yeah. It was really light on the eye. The eyelids look wet. It looks so pretty. Oh my god, I love, 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 love. I might buy another one in this color. Because I love that one. 
Oh my gosh, I'm like looking at my eyes and I'm like shook right now. That is really pretty, y'all. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna put this blush on, the strawberry blush. Um, it smells like strawberries. Looks so pretty. Might be the prettiest blush I have. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything to me. It smells like nothing. But it's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use a blush brush by Luxie. I'm just gonna tap it together. Uh oh, I might have put too much on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now. I think I think about the stuff about this um collection, I think everything is buildable. So it's like not pigmented at first, you have to build it, which I appreciate that with blushes. Cause you don't wanna like lightly hit a blush and then it just like your whole face is red. I think it looks pretty though. I'm blushing. And I'm gonna see if this I can use this sparkly side as a highlighter. Let's see. I have this little blingy highlighter blush brush. I just got my BoxyCharm. I have no clue of the brand. Not my BoxyCharm. What's the BoxyCharm? Let's see if you can see this. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it. Glowing. There it is, you see on camera? Looks really pretty. I like it. Pretty. Now I'm gonna do the nose highlight. I love nose highlighting. It has a scent to it, y'all, but I don't like the scent. It smells weird. Oh, man. Ooh, it smells weird. It's not a fruity scent. Okay, and I have some lips too, y'all. I'm gonna do home slice. <laughs> And these smell like something from my childhood. Don't know what it is though. It's not sticky, it feels comfortable. It looks like. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Am I, am I missing anything? Okay, I'm gonna put on the eyelashes and I'll be right back. I popped on some lashes by House of Lashes. They're on the name Bomb Show. And I put some eyeliner on. So this is the finished look. Um, the last thing I have is some spray, setting spray. It's like I'm so excited because like I love setting sprays. Let me shake it up. Oh, you hear that? What the heck? It's so weird. I'm scared because I think I've seen bad reviews on this. I heard the pump is messed up. Oh, it's like coming out. It's not so good. Are you kidding me? Like $34. Hmm. Well, that don't work. It's really irritating. Like they almost got the whole collection right. And like they don't. Like that one thing messed it up. I can't believe it, y'all. Two Face, get it together. You almost had a perfect collection by me. But... Okay, so y'all, this is the finished look. I think it's really pretty. I think it's like very Barbie dolly. Thank you so much for watching this review. Let me know if you picked up some items from this collection and let me know what was your favorite. My favorites would have to be the liquid eyeshadows, the palette, and I think. The foundation, let me think. The foundation is nice. Yeah, it looks pretty. I like it, but I'll see if it breaks me out and stuff like that later. So I'm going to keep all this on all day, I guess. So thank you so much for watching, y'all. Let me know if you like reviews. Um, I am going to have a review up for the Jaclyn Hill palette soon. Uh, not the palette, but the vault collection. I have all four palettes, and I will have a review of those coming up soon for y'all. And thank you so much. Hope you like this video. Let me have a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank y'all. Bye.